Live from the O'Brien Services Stadium Studios, this is the fifth quarter. Hello, everyone, and welcome back into the fifth quarter. Thanks for joining us for a jam-packed night of high school football where we are brought to you each and every week by the O'Brien Service Company. Let's get right into the highlights, shall we, with our fifth quarter game of the week. The undefeated Hoggard Vikings hosting Mid-Eastern Conference foe Topsail. A big-time game for both of these schools. Good crowd on hand. Hoggard led by 24 at the half, and they added that out of the break. Samuel Williams straight ahead, breaks through arm tackles in for the touchdown. Topsell, though, trying to get something going of their own on special teams, but Hoggards has their coverage with a shoestring tackle right there, and the Viking faithful were loving this one from start to finish tonight. We all know Gabe Johnson can toss a rock, but he can do a little something-something with his feet as well. Check this out. Stopping on a dime, gets the defender to fall down, takes it into pirate territory, and they would finish it off a few plays later. Henry Heitman. Dragon defenders with him, lowers his head, he's in for the touchdown, 38-0 Hoggard. Thompson looking for something to go their way tonight to take some momentum, and they get it right here. Travis Kane to Connor Wilson coming across the middle. He's into the open field, turns into a foot race, he's gone, 88-yard touchdown, but it's a little too late. Hoggard gets the big 38-7 win. You know, just proud of that effort. Uh, those guys swarm to the football all the time. Uh, they do it in practice, and, and, and you see it translate to the game. So uh, really proud of the defensive effort tonight. And the win secures the 2021 Mid-Eastern Conference Championship for the Vikings. As you see, heard Coach say, they were impressive once again tonight offensively and defensively. They now have their sights set on ending the regular season undefeated. And speaking of the MAC, we have some other key games to get to. Let's jump back into the highlights and go out to North Brunswick High School. The Scorpions trying to keep their playoff hopes alive in Class 3A. Lenny going for their first win on the year. And the Bucks got off to a great start in this one. Eli Rivera will not be denied. Lowers his head, bulls into the end zone quickly. 7-0 Lenny in the first quarter. North Brunswick, a little bit of confusion here on their next drive. R.J. Green to Tate Davis and Darrell Sutton comes in to lay the wood. And everything was working in the Bucks' way in the first half. Ty Little rolling to his right, finds Carson Adkins over the middle. It's another touchdown for the Laney Buccaneers. And if they say if it's not broke, why fix it? Laney to the air again. Little outside to Connor Poe. He will find his way down to the one-yard line. And then who else? Eli Rivera finishes it off, punches it in just to play later. And the Bucks pick up their first win on the year, beating North Brunswick 20-7, the final score. From Leland, let's go into Wilmington. Ashley hosting South Brunswick. And the Cougars defense, well, came to play early on. Barrett Swells has his pass tipped and picked off by Shelton Bukuk. And he would take it near midfield, and South Brunswick would go to the ground game. Pitch outside here to Danny Parker, and the senior says, I got this one. Turns on the Jets around the edge, makes one man miss, and is in for the touchdown. The Cougars jump on top early in this one. The home team screaming Eagles looking for a response, and they would get a big response. Barrett Swells going deep. He has a man. It is Fisher Waggett. He will take this one all the way down to the one-yard line. Comes up just short, but nonetheless, Ashley would punch it in one play later. Jackson Jones, the outside pitch. He'll walk in for the touchdown. This one was close from start to finish, but South Brunswick gets the 30-21 win on the road. And just like that, our first set of games are in the books here on the fifth quarter. But we still have much more coming your way tonight on WWAY. After the break, we'll head up to Pender County for a couple of key conference games. 